Guys, we want to say thank you. Number one, uh, excited to be here with you this morning. Uh, congratulations on Manufacturing of the Year. Uh, thank you. We're incredibly honored as you can imagine. Uh, it's, uh, it's an awkward time. It's a weird time. We're, we're trying to stay far away from each other, but uh, what an exciting opportunity for Main Trailer. Um, what an exciting opportunity for Utah for, for manufacturing. And, and uh, tell us just a little bit about what you've been able to do this year during some challenging times. Um, so a few years ago, we were experiencing a contraction in our business, right? Our, uh, the ATM business, which is really uh, what's fed the company for its entire existence. The market was shrinking, and to be honest, we were losing market share. And so we wanted uh, to find something that was consistent with our core competency uh, of fiberglass, of metal fabricating, of millwork. And so we uh, had the audacity and courage to actually go into a market, which was a consumer-oriented market, um, and just we found a niche and we filled the niche. Uh, we, we were always good at design. You know, we've always been a very good design company, so we had a lot of confidence that we could design something that the market would accept, right? But we haven't been necessarily always good manufacturers, and I think what's happened since the last time, you know, you were here and we won, um, you know, Pulisic designed in Utah, is that we've become a good manufacturer. Brian, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, what, what changed? Uh, it's been a while especially the last couple of years. Um, it's a challenge to speak with the, the spike in sales. Um, to ask all the employees to figure out how to do twice as much as they were is a, is a, is a challenge that not everybody's up for. But um, we have a group of employees that just came in every day and put that challenge in the face and figured out every day how to get closer and closer and closer to doing it. We were to look back and see how much we were able to do just because we were looking at the challenge every day on what more could we do. And, um, so, I mean, we're, we're just really honored to, to have you know, somebody else kind of see it and uh, acknowledge it because there's a, there's a group of like 113 just resilient employees that have uh, you know, really earned the, the this is cool. I think you guys kind of summed it up there as you know, teamwork makes the dream work. You guys, have, you guys have been able to rise to challenge this this uh, this year, and congratulations on some amazing uh, improvements on manufacturing, for the amazing production game, and uh, excited to be here to present you with manufacturing here. Congratulations, guys! Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Now let's take a look inside. Let's open that up. Okay. Awesome. Actually, get in here. So the, let's, let's get you in there. Go, it, go ahead and it folds into it. Yeah. So there you go. We got a, yeah. How about that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> if I had one of these, my, this is where my wife would send me when I got in trouble. <laughs> this is impressive. And you're cranking one of these off the line every week. Every day. Every day. Every day. So in the I last six mistaken. months, we, you know, in the last six months, we went from one a week to five a week. To five a week. Right. Absolutely amazing. And what we were talking about earlier before uh, the camera started rolling is that it's, you know, obviously COVID created an opportunity for us, right? And demand oh, yeah. for, you know, people are buying trailers like crazy. But uh, what we've been able to do is be able to scale up and increase and at the same yeah. time increase the quality of our products to take advantage